Hi! This is the 3 Jewels team and me, Dale. Welcome to this short tutorial on how to use our new scene setup fast and easily. In this tutorial, I want to demonstrate how easy it is to place a logo or text for the presentation and rendering of your jewelry using our ready-made scene. So, you downloaded the zip archive from the 3 Jewels website to your computer and unpacked the archive. Inside the zip archive, you will find the entire set with all the assets and the Keyshot package file. I will simply drag and drop it into my open Keyshot. I am using version 9 for the example. You can use another version not lower than the ninth version of the program. You can choose the resources folder. But I'll choose browse to a folder to unzip to a specific folder. So you see our scene has opened. Inside here we have a model of some ring for example, as well as ready-made settings for materials, HDRI environment and render settings. There are several pre-installed and customized materials in the scene. There are also customized materials with a logo. To place your logo or text here in place of this example, you will need to edit the texture file. It comes with a scene in a Photoshop PSD file, here. You just need to open it in Photoshop and make the necessary changes and save. Well, let's do it. Open our PSD file with Photoshop. Here we see some example of a logo on a transparent background. This is the place to place your text or logo or any other black and white image with transparency. Let's place our logo here for example. I'll place my 3 jewels logo for example. I'll just drag and drop it here. Yes. I will shrink it a little and center it as I need it. Now you need to be sure to save the file in Photoshop. Save the file, or press the hotkeys Ctrl S or Command S. That's all for now. Now, in order to apply the settings to our material in Keyshot, we need to do a little action. Let's go back to Keyshot, or rather to our logo material. Next, go to the settings for this material and switch to the Labels tab. Here below we can see the textures applied to the material. We need to update the texture to apply the new design to our material. To do this, we select any of the textures, and next to its name we see a small icon with two arrows indicating the texture update. We press it. Great! Our texture has been updated and now we can see our new texture applied on the material with our new logo. Now you can simply import your 3D model of jewelry into the scene, apply any materials to it, adjust the required camera angle, and start rendering. Hope our new scene will help and facilitate your jewelry rendering in the future. It's all. And see you soon. Bye.